Hello, beloved. It's Tony. I've not done a video in a while. Uh, a lot going on in the world. Uh, but I did want to come on and I wanted to share a, a thought that I've been having. Uh, and, and it has to do with... Authority. Okay. I don't know if that's showing up very well. Let's try this again. Oh, let's do it. Authority. And I want you to think about this word. Authority. And for me, when... I was first given this, and this is what I, I was, this is my explanation, definition that I was given. Author. Of reality. Author of reality. And, and I guess I'm sort of thinking about this. I had a situation, uh, my mother health issues and the nurse and uh, something was going on and the right paperwork and she simply told me she didn't have the authority, uh, I did not have the authority to discuss things with her. And my mom was in like a unconscious state, uh, in, in unconscious state of mind. And uh, she flipped a little badge at me and said she had the authority. And that's, you know, that's very interesting when someone tells you they have authority. Okay, and the way I understand authority is author of reality. And I was, and where I'm going with this, uh, my mom also is a, a very large advocate for laws of the land. Scripture says we must follow the laws of the land. Laws of the land. I'm 51. I've heard this all of my life. And um, the other evening this conversation came up and I, I, I said back to her, I said, well, Mom, Moses didn't follow the law of the land. That's why Pharaoh was mad. Um, Jesus was accused many times of not following the law of the land. And this is where I want to try to go a little bit in some verses and cover some of this because, you know, even in Scripture, if you look up the Word, and, and this is how a lot of my spiritual studies, I get words, a word that will repeat in my mind until I, I feel like I have a satisfied understanding of this word. And when you look up authority in Scripture, it's kind of funny. The Pharisees asked Jesus, because he was healing on Sunday, and they uh, asked him, by what authority did he do this? And he tells them, if you tell me what authority you operate under, then I will tell you what authority I operate under. Well, and then a few more scriptures, and, and I'm going to pull these for you, but I'm just kind of ad-libbing it right now. A few more scriptures, uh, they come back and they cannot tell him under what authority, who gives them their authority. You see, and then he tells them, well, I cannot tell you by what authority... I have. And so what is interesting, and then as we go on, and, and I'm studying through the authority, um, I knew in the story, and this is where I'm sorry, I don't spit out every, every verse and scripture and number and line. I just, I guess I'm more in trying to absorb the spirit than the the bio, the location of it and everything. And, you know, the way, what is this story telling me? But the story where Jesus heals the man, uh, the blind, he puts mud and spit on his eyes. And they pull this man into court, so to speak. 
and they're asking him about Jesus, and they call his parents in and such as that. And it goes on, and I think like the last scripture in that, it says, for the Jews had decided to kill any man that claims to be the son of God. Okay, they made a law. Even though they were looking for a Messiah, they had a law that if any man claimed to be the Messiah or the Son of God, they would kill him. And I'm just going to read John 19.7, uh, King James. The Jews answered him, We have a law. And by our law, he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. Well, and what happens is, in such a claim, it invalidates their authority. You see, if a man claimed to be the Son of God, it would invalidate their authority. Now I'm thinking of the parable, and I need to do some more scripture pulling on this to, to give people more validation in scriptures and all. But I'm thinking of the parable of the vineyard, and the master sends the, the messenger and they kill him. You see, this is a prophet. They kill him. Then I think he sends another one, and they kill him too, another prophet. Okay, then the master sends his son, because surely they'd listen to him. But they kill him too. You see, all because of authority. <laughs> you see, authority is given in trust, okay? But in a way, it's we're doing it blindly. Y y'all used to say a long time, and it's so funny. I, I, I guess I was, boy, subconsciously, I knew things a lot more before I, I woke up to some of these things. But I used to say, no one has any more power over me than I give them. No one has any more power over me than I give them. You, you see, and even Christ, I mean, they had already made a law to kill any man that claimed to be the Son of God. Now, I just find that mind-boggling. Uh, anyone has any thoughts on this? And like I said, I'm, it's just been a word, author, authority, author of reality. And this concept, because i, I got to say, in my life, I have lived with a lot of people that claim some pretty powerful authority over me. And, and how some of this came to be, a conversation was talking about the laws of the land, and then uh, I brought up, well, what about the laws that God writes on your heart? What if the laws of love that are written on your heart conflict with laws of the land? And, and I guess another reason I'm doing this video, I saw another uh, a news report this evening in Fort Lauderdale, a 90-year-old man was being arrested, $500 fine and I think 60 days in jail, for feeding the homeless. You understand? So, and, and, here's, and here's the whole dilemma. Well, of course the man's heart is telling him to help these people. I totally understand it. Okay, but the authority... And it's really funny because our authority, these these men that sit in authority, uh, for me, I get a giggle out of their costumes. It's kind of like they put on a cape and they become Superman. Because they have 
authority. And I'm just wondering, have we all given <laughs> too much control, too much authority away? You see, because that's the funny thing, as a son of God, there's only one person that has authority over you. That's God. That's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You see, no man intercedes except for Christ between you and God. But we have these men in robes and in tough costumes with shiny guns and badges. And, you know, and really they're just men, but they... There are, this is where I go back to the imagination. Their imagination has been empowered with a sort of false authority. I don't know. I'm still working on this, but I, I'm just sharing what thoughts I do have now. Um, you know, because the whole thing that the Jews had already decided to kill any man that claimed to be the Son of God. And here, here's the crazy thing. I think we're all sons of God. And so what happens is, is, is as all of us being sons of God, you know, as in the believers, I mean, I, th well, I think everybody is, but everybody's at different degrees of understanding this. Um... You see, we're brothers, and I have no authority over my brother. Yes, I'm his caretaker, but I have no authority. Only Father has that. I don't know. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. These are my thoughts. I'm not saying it's true for everybody. Some of you can sit there and eat that law of the land. I think that's why you're so miserable now. All right. Love you guys. Have a good night.